Siding Spring Observatory in Eastern Australia lies 400 kilometres from the city of Sydney. The largest telescope on this site, and the largest on Australian soil, is the Anglo-Australian Telescope, which has a primary mirror four metres in diameter. The telescope was built in the 1970s as a shared facility of Australia and the United Kingdom. Today, it acts as a national facility for optical astronomy in Australia. The Anglo-Australian Telescope is one of the world's most productive telescopes with a level of research impact typical of much larger and more recent telescopes. It was one of the first to take high quality colour images of objects in the southern sky. It was also one of the key telescopes used to observe supernova 1987A, the brightest exploding star seen in 400 years. This supernova could be seen only from the southern hemisphere and gave astronomers unprecedented insight into the death of a star. And it is taking part in an ongoing search for extrasolar planets and has found more than 25 so far. The Anglo-Australian Telescope has made a major contribution to the observations that have revolutionised cosmology in the last 15 years. In 2003, scientists using the telescope completed the biggest galaxy survey made to that time, creating a map that showed the positions of more than 220,000 galaxies in space. The information in the map was used to make the most precise estimate to date of important parameters of the universe, its mass and density, and its relative amounts of normal matter, dark matter, and dark energy. This huge survey was called the Two Degree Field Galaxy Redshift Survey. It was made possible by a sophisticated optical fibre system that uses a robot to position optical fibres onto a large field plate. This system was designed and built by staff of the Anglo-Australian Observatory. It lets astronomers observe objects across a piece of sky about 16 times the size of the Moon. Hundreds of objects can be observed simultaneously. In one night, astronomers can collect and analyse the light from thousands of stars or galaxies, a task that would have taken years in the past. In 2006, the Anglo-Australian Observatory built a powerful new spectrograph to complement the robotic fibre system. Called AA Omega, it is the world's best instrument for wide-field spectroscopic projects. Today, it is used for a variety of work, including a major survey called WIGGLES, which will measure the positions of another 200,000 distant galaxies. The measurements will let researchers detect a faint pattern in the distribution of galaxies that was imprinted by sound waves in the early universe. The size of this pattern will let the team test the current theories of dark energy. Another major project underway, called Gamma, is exploring how galaxies themselves form and evolve. The Gamma project is looking at the effects of the environments in which galaxies live and at how much they merge and collide. Thanks to new technology now under development, the Anglo-Australian Telescope will continue to help answer the major questions in astronomy, now and into the future.